Did you work for Pepsi? I see all the shirts over there. My husband did for 38 years. Oh my goodness. Would you go 10 on this one since it's missing the remote? But if you can use it, you can have it. <laughs> Okay. Whole box of racetracks. How much is your little uh, Hawaiian music box thing? Pardon me? How much is your little Hawaiian How music about $4? $4. I'll buy it. Okay. I'll keep looking around and see what else I can find. Okay. You can just set it on the table over there. Okay. I see your uh, coin books. Do you have any old coins? I do, but they're not for sale. Not for sale? Okay. Always got to ask. No, I appreciate that. Do you collect? Pardon me? Do you collect coins? Um, I... It was when I was a little kid, um, I used to cut grass and my dad would, we lived in Dayton, my dad would take me to the Salem Mall and there was a coin shop there. So once a month we would go there and I would buy coins based on the money that I earned cutting grass. Wow. So that's neat. There's something he and I did together. Yeah. It was good. So. you still have them all? Huh? You still have all the coins? Oh yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is this piece right here? I think it was to, it's an old piece to put like ashes or just sweep off, you know, tabletops or whatever in the Interesting. old Interesting. Huh. So, but like I said, make me an offer if you're ever asking. You know what this is, Dad? Let's see if Google knows. Yeah, that's blurry. Hold on. Oh, we figured it out. That is a silent butler. We figured it out. It's called silent butler. Okay. So it is to sweep things in? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was. Would you go six for it? I know you need even 10 bucks. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. I'll do that. Did you work for Pepsi? I see all the shirts over there. My husband did for 38 years. Oh, my goodness. So, there you thank go. You. Thank you. Pepsi uniform shirts. Yeah, I don't have any left of the old ones with the big hats on the back though. Those are cool. They're from the late 70s, early 80s. No, the penny ones I have actually have slides in them that I can yeah, take oh, yeah, them out really right. easy. Hundreds. Yeah. 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 Those were kind of what I started at because and then I collected silver dollars yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. you know, the old quarters. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 I enjoyed it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not as negotiable on those shirts. Just That's what I was going to ask you. So I've got... Yeah. I've got four that I'd offer you 40, uh, 50 bucks on. Would you go 50 bucks on uh, the three shirts and a jacket? I'd do 60. I'll do it. Okay. I appreciate you working with me. No, that's okay. There you go. Thank hey, you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Good luck with your sale. Hey, thank you. I'll buy your uh, keyboard. What's that? I'll buy your keyboard. Oh, great. And I'll uh, look around and see what else I can find. You're fine. Do you have the remote for these by chance? No. no. 
Would you go 10 on this one since it's missing the remote? I don't know. Let me ask him. Okay. Um, if I can plug it in and just see that it turns on, I'll give you 15 for it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'll give you 15. Thank you for plugging it in. Oh, you're welcome. You got the power off. I'm sorry? Yeah, the power off. Uh, uh yes, I do. I turned off the power. And I owe you five for the keyboard. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. We get grumpy when we're little. We thank get grumpy you. when we're big, too. Yeah. Yes. Morning. Good morning. Take 50 for your camera? I think she would. Okay. Yeah, it's a great camera. We just don't miss it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. Well, that goes with the candle. Oh. So you're supposed to cover yeah. up the plastic of the candle. My yeah. mom is $20. I was a rep for. 12 different companies across the United States. Wow. That's amazing. Um, I got two packs here. Okay. $2. Do you want a bag? No, that's all right. Okay. Thank you. Good yeah. luck with your sale. Thanks. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. It's warmer. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're sunny. It's was it working it, last it, time it, you it, saw it, well it just need it, it goes through ink i'll tell you yeah but if you can use it you can have it <laughs> you sure i can't give you something for it if you want to yeah i'll pay you the uh, i'll pay you the 10 bucks for it really yeah well it doesn't work <laughs> it doesn't work no, I said if it doesn't work. Oh, I, yeah. I said it's been so long, and I think it just needed ink. Yeah, if nothing else, I can probably get the money back for the ink, so it's not a big deal. Okay, all right. Good luck with your sale. Thank, Thank you, you. so much. Yeah. These men's or women's golf They're shoes? Men's. There are there are men's. They are men's. And then there's a pair of foot joint here. Oh okay. Same bit. size? Yeah. Okay. Um if I got two of these, would you go twenty bucks a pair? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. I'll get this okay. back to you. There you go. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, Cincinnati Picker. Yeah. I watch you on YouTube. Oh, What's thanks. Like? What's your name? Melissa Hardy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you find this stuff? I am. Are you? And I'm not uh, selling this time, but I will in the fall. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Back at the house, Dad and I hit some sales today, and I found some really, really great stuff. I'm thrilled with what we found. At the first sale, I got this um, private butler. So I've seen um, I've seen like crumb scrapers, table scrapers over the years where it's like this little thing you hold and you scrape all the crumbs off the table, something they did back in the day. 
and those are about this size. So I think the idea was you'd get a scraper and scrape it into this and then pour it out. Um, this is monogrammed, it's brass. The only way we figured out what it was is uh, we Googled it. We used Google image search and it popped right up. They don't go for a ton. They sell for about 20 bucks, but I did see some sales on those. Also at that sale, I got this Spencer Gifts. I didn't even realize it was Spencer Gifts until I got it back. Um, it says copyright 19 something. I think it's 19, 1970s. I can see the 197. Uh, it's a little music box and it works in really good shape. I paid $4 for that. Just a neat piece. Also at that sale, she had some uh, Pepsi shirts. I got one vintage, one new in the plastic with the uh, monogram name. And then these vintage ones have the big, oh, this one has a big patch on the back. This one does not. I saw these going right around $20 to $30 each. Maybe a little bit more for this one because it's monogrammed and it's in the bag. And then the jacket was going for about $40 or $50. I paid $60. Um, but I think I can get a little bit over a hundred uh, for all the pieces. So we'll see. Definitely had to pay up for them, but it's a cool find. If they were Coca-Cola, they'd be worth a lot more, but Pepsi obviously just isn't as collectible as Coca-Cola. Got some golf shoes at one sale and I've never seen this brand. Uh, the brand is, let's see, it's in the sole here. G4, really clean. I don't think they got much use. I paid 20 bucks a pair for them and I saw this one sold for like 95 it is the uh galavan so should be pretty good with those got a nikon camera this was a really good find it seems like it's harder and harder to find uh, good quality digital cameras for a decent price this is the nikon d3100 and it comes with the uh, 18 to 55 milliliter lens I think this was sold as a kit. You got the body, you got the 18 to 55 milliliter lens. And, you know, these were, were generally like 350 bucks, 400 bucks. Um, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. I paid 50 and the camera and lens paired together are going for about 150. I got this Brother printer. If this is working, it's selling for around 100 bucks. Brother is a really good brand of printer to find. They're known to last a long time. I'm gonna have to put it through its paces. Anytime you buy a printer, you wanna uh, run some paper through it, do like a print test, just to make sure the ink isn't all dried up in there. Cause sometimes the ink cartridges can dry up and it'll just like totally ruin the whole thing. So fingers crossed this works. She was just gonna give it to me and I'm like, no, I'll gladly give you 10 bucks since um, I think there's some profit to be made on there. Got this Sony CD changer. This is the 200 uh, CD changer. They have some that are like three, four, I think maybe even like 500 CD changer. Um, didn't have the remote and I have a love hate relationship with these things because they can bring in some good money. This one's going for around a hundred bucks, but the odds of them like really being fully functional are not great. It seems like it's, I don't know, half the time I buy these that they're in good shape. So he let me plug it in and the carousel spun around, which is a great sign. So I'll hook it up and make sure it's actually going to play a CD. Sometimes like the taking the CD in and out, you know, that mechanism in there doesn't work, but if you can get these cheap enough, uh, take a chance on them. And last thing I got is this Yamaha keyboard. Uh, this one's not very old. It's got a lot of the extra little things on there and it's got a neat feature. I don't know if you can see it through the plastic, but it's got this display screen that actually shows what note that you're playing. Uh, I paid five for this. I'll probably just try to sell it local for 25 or 30 bucks. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.